Hello and welcome to Suffragan's Shotgun Hacker Mix build. And with this set, this build is for loud and stealth like, and you will have fun with this. I promise you that as long as you like like uh, dodge based builds. So if you can handle dodge, you will absolutely love this one. Uh, with this said, uh, let's go first to all the decks, well skills. Obviously combat medic basic just to open quick fix and combat doctor and inspire. Quick fix aced for the 10% uh, over two minutes. I think this is generally more helpful uh, instead of the 30% for five seconds. I think painkillers go better with uppers. However, the, the dropping uh, the placement deploy time is, is nice of quick fix. So it's it's always like that. So, but overall, I, I decide for the long term uh, damage reduction up by ten percent, combat doctor because uh, yeah, getting down. So we're having uh, this one, and for replenishing our health, we would uh, actually rely on the pocket ECM and inspire basic and even aced because I just love this one especially because of dodge sometimes it's well just nice to sit in cover and shout someone up or um, sometimes it's just upstairs and you don't want to go all around and up and you know or you get revived too so in which case you can shout at one and revive the other one so it's always nice to have shout especially in the mixed build, I, th I think this one just compensates for the lack of other loud abilities. However, uh, we do have Hostage Taker Basic, which for my playstyle is definitely enough. Those 1.5 health every 5 seconds is a very nice health uh, boost. Uh, maybe at some point later I, I might get rid of that. However, since this build is planned, or designed for death wish. I don't know if it will. Well, I, I think it will be required on death sentence uh, to compensate again. So um, I leave it just right there. Obviously, partners in crime and choker both are skilled by choker basic. Well, to get a choker and acing to um, or convert him faster by 65% and the choker does 35% more damage. Likewise, with partner in crime, basic is. Another speed boost, which is always nice, and in its basic form, it already takes 45% less damage. However, in the aced uh, form, it will take an additional 54% less damage, which uh, summarizes to 99% less damage, which means like almost none. So they only die uh, like in front of turrets or minigun bowsers which is, well, if, if you help them to kill those, well, at least the dozers, they survive pretty long, unless you, like, actually meet a, a turret. Stable shot, because we're going with shotguns, we do, we do not want to have a high precision, because shotguns are supposed to spread their bullets to make a wide area of damage. And to compensate for that widespread, so we still can kind of aim, we need a higher stability. So these are eight stability is very nice to have. And in an enforcer, we are actually going for the shotgun build as such, with opening with underdog with um, increased damage by 15% for seven seconds if there are three or more enemies within the range of 18 meters. Next one is shotgun CQB actually just to reload your shotgun faster because that's the most important survival skill you can have to reload your weapons a lot faster than you would normally do. This totalizes in 50% uh, in faster reloading and increases the steel sight zoom speed when using shotguns. Usually you don't do that but it's a nice have to. It's actually more than 35% a reload time that can uh, be helpful and obviously but while we run around and such um, we want to do uh, hip fire and we also want to be able to actually hit something uh, which is done by acing so we have uh, a 
while well, the rate of fire increased by 35% and the magazines are bigger. This is a really nice uh, thing, especially for uh, shotguns like the, the Grimm or uh, Itzma. This is just wonderful. And obviously, last but not least, for shotguns and damage bill, we don't want to miss overkill. And also, a must have is resilience in the tank tree. A is to reduce the flashbang duration. Die Hard Transporter Basic both are quite comfortable if you have them. Also, Bullseye is nice for armor gating uh, in case you're in the open field and well, should get rid of the 20 armor you have. So, good luck with that and dodge. Also, ammo specialist, the scavenger uh, point to pick up your ammo box in, in the bigger range is also very nice, especially for example in the White House where you can shoot down uh, uh, the hallway is the wrong word because you actually the enemies are in the open, but you can sh sit in there and shoot down, you know, like in the oh god, I, play, I haven't played that in a while, I just realized. I think it's the West Wing, um, you know, where, where you gotta hack the computers. So when you shoot down there to the uh, alongside the, the conference room with the ammo specialist, you couldn't just run through, through uh, along that wall and pick up all the ammo that was on the outside where you otherwise can't go to, so that's a nice have to. And as a mixed build, so for Stealth and Lavi, just want to have at least the silent drill. I couldn't uh, spend anything else otherwise. And now finally something for the stealth by Shinobi Chameleon Aced, of course, so we can pick up key cards and um, crowbars and such things while in civilian mode. This is a very, very nice have to uh, on several maps, uh, especially uh, also on, on Firestar Day 3, where you can can use two people, one to pick up the key card for the uh, cam room and the other one can pick up the key card in, in the manager's office uh, for, for, for the power supply, so that, that's a very nice have to, of course. And for stealth we do need six hands at the very very least and cleaner basic for this one additional bag right from the start and a total of three, so you can actually place that body bag when you have none and use all three body bags in that body bag case um, to completely refill without have to having to well re-go to your body bag case that you have placed. And also very nice stealth ability is the looping of the camera for 25 seconds. But what I really don't want to miss is the lockpick of saves by acing nimble. I really, really love that. And it also helps in loud highs uh, or s some that, that garage escape, you know, where you start at the very bottom and you have to go, um, well, just all the way up. At that place, it's, it's also really nice to have just uh, the lockpicking, or of course, you can use C4 or whatever, or saw. There, there's a lot of options, but I really like this one. So I can have two different weapons that are otherwise uh, have otherwise a, a wide range. And of course, for so I do have my other build like transporter or uh, bank build. <clears throat> now, of course, since Hacker is a dodge based um, or focused deck, we don't want to completely ignore dodge. So we do have to ace, duck, and cover. Basic, just to open parkour and acing. Uh, well, and basic also just for the sprint stuff. I mean, we are running all the way around, so more stamina and faster sprinting is just nice, especially because everything is increased by 25%, so that's just awesome. And uh, acing it will actually increase 10% of dodging while we run, so this is very nice. Also, while zip lining to 15%, that's nice. Parkour ASIC just for more speed while running and uh, basic for the additional run speed and acing it so we can actually reload our weapons while running without having to, you know, so we won't stop reloading when you start running. You know, that's kind of annoying, at least for me. Uh, last but not least, we're having a silent killer second win basic, although 30% more run speed is just awesome when the armor breaks because it's nice to go to safety if it breaks. Optical illusion, well, 
had to go there because um, I needed the requirement for the async, so the concealment, plus one concealment for each silence weapon. So since we have both uh, shotgun silence, we get an additional... Um, well, it, it actually just removes the penalty of the... Um, of the um, silencers, right? So this is, um, well, it can summarize up to, to four points. So this is huge in a sense. Also, less being less targeted helps, kind of. Uh, for that, there are other bells that uh, want to tank, you know, hint. So, uh, and because we're going for stealth and such, we have a low detection rate, so just basically uh, low blow. Uh, really is enough to get those 30% uh, crits all the time. We could have um, 5 detection rate and still have 30% crit chance just all the way granted for free, uh, nothing else to do, not, not no even. If you can manage to get points for Unseen Strike, you could go up to 70% uh, crit chance. Well, honestly, just for the really Last but not least, the martial arts in Brawler, because reducing those 50% uh, melee attacks is also a very nice um, survival skill on, on higher difficulties, especially since we do not have a lot of armor. So this is kind of a nice have to if you have no cooldown left for for the pocket ECM, right? So there's that. Now for the weapon, I'll be using the. Grim silenced with crit, which uh, basically has dock shot uh, ammunition. Our extension would be the silent killer suppressor with the concealment boost. Custom would be on auto fire with the all auto grip uh, with the foregrip of the little bar the foregrip because it increases concealment. Uh, mostly auto fire also. You're using the Grim as a sh uh, kind of like an SMG or an automated rifle. Um, yeah, so auto fire is kind of nice. On fire, you you might ignore this, but um, I think it's nice. Also, it helps to reduce accuracy, so why not? As a gadget, we would be using the compact laser module because it helps to aim, and especially when you taser it, and doesn't change concealment in any way. So that's also a nice have to. You could. Maybe if if you wanted to use the Brick Mother Brother magazine for a pure loud build, uh, but for a stealth build, I think seven is uh, kind of too high. I don't feel comfortable with a seven as a stealth compatible uh, build. Uh, for stealth, it's like three or four with with uh, what I feel comfortable. And as a second, we would be using the Judge Silent AP, obviously with the AP slots. With a silent killer suppressor as well, boost as well, concealment, gadget, also the compact laser module, no lower receiver and no sight, obviously, because those would increase the detection rate. This robo is, well, once more the pocket ACM. As deployable, you would use either the doctor bag or um, body bag cases depending on the, the overall setup of your uh, team you're joining. So if they would be like stealth oriented, like mostly ECMs and other um, body bags, you, it, it wouldn't be wrong to bring body bags with, um, because you, you still can go loud, kind of, depending on the difficulty or your skill, whatever. Um, yeah, so Dr. Bags is, is always nice for the regeneration. And yeah, well, with 51 stamina, you can run quite a bit. I still miss those 45, but at least um, we're having Inspire back. So I, I, I had a time while testing without Inspire, and th this just didn't feel right for, for loud uh, maps with randoms. Uh, it was just obvious that, that Inspire was missing, so uh, I. I I couldn't leave it out, I just had to get it back somehow at the cost of, and it hurts to admit, it really hurts uh, but Sneaky Bass, it isn't as good as I really like to for pure dodge 
uh, damage build. I would still go for Sneaky Bastard, of course, but since it is a mixed build, I had to do some, um, you know, compromises, and it, it even for that, it's it's hard to admit, but removing Dire Need and Shockproof and Sneaky Bastard gave me the uh, ability to really make it a lot better, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, this this works well. This works really well. It makes a lot of fun now, really. So um, this was about it. I hope you liked. And if you did, please leave a thumb, thumbs up. And if you like, leave a comment as well. Thanks for watching, and maybe see you around online. Have a good day. Bye.